Casey Donovan is the first woman to win I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Casey Donovan has been crowned the queen of the jungle, adding the I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Title to her 2004 victory on Australian Idol. The 28-year-old singer beat reformed AFL bad boy Dane Swan and Natalie Bassingth for the title, winning $100,000 for her chosen charity, the Starlight Children's Foundation. In an emotional finale, Donovan said the victory had given her more self-confidence as an adult performer and permission to be me. She is the first female winner of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here and also the first non-sportsman to be victorious in the Channel 10 reality show. From idol to now, that is all I've been treated like, is a kid. In the outside world I run from problems, I run from stress, I run from things. I just retreat. And here it has just been so difficult to not escape, said Donovan, who revealed in January she was a Sydney Uber driver. She joined I'm a celebrity from a national tour of musical We Will Rock You. I need to stop looking over my shoulder and appreciate that the people of Australia and the people at home have really liked me for me, it feels nice," she told News Corp Australia. I feel good and I feel happy and that is something I wouldn't have been able to say a few years ago. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Winner Casey Donovan with her crown after winning I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Picture, Dylan Robinson Source News Corp Australia. Donovan has lost more than 17 kilograms, down from 149 kilograms six weeks ago. Seeing that number pop up, on the scales, was a shock to my system and it has kick-started me into realizing that there is so much more to life and more to experience. Never did I ever think I would reverse spongy because I thought I was too big and too heavy and I'd break things or I'd just fall off the bungee cable. But look. It is an amazing kickstart and I will get into the real world and really test myself to be better. Talking about her weight has been something Donovan has generally avoided in the past. It is something I've steered clear of and something that I've had to deal with since I was 14. Being in the public eye at 16 with, Australian, Idol and then just going on this massive roller coaster ride, now to be here and face all of these challenges and put myself at the forefront of everything. It has definitely tested every bone in my body and every nerve ending that runs through my body. I feel so excited and privileged to be here, she added. This crown means a lot of things but most importantly it means my charity, the Starlight Foundation, receives the $100,000 to give sick kids and teenagers joy and happiness and to take their minds off what can be the worst of situations and put a smile on their face. Personally, she added, I'm overjoyed. I feel like I've faced a lot of my fears. I've cried and screamed and met some amazing people and made beautiful new friends. I have just had a glorious time. To the finale's runners-up, she said, I think I've adapted to this jungle. I wish I could take your calmness, Dane, and take that with me and your bright sparkly smile, Nat. After becoming a household name at the age of 16, winning the 2004 season of Idol, she was signed but quickly dropped by Sony Music because, Donovan said, they didn't know where to put me. It has taken a long time for me to be, happy. I've found confidence within myself. I've learned how to smile. I've learned how to talk. I've learned how to take it easy. I've learned how to just try and enjoy life for what it is. I feel like I am at the place in my life now, almost 29 and 13 years in this business. I've definitely got to see a lot and experience a lot and there is no place I'd rather be. Overcoming severe anxiety has been a big thing for Donovan in the jungle, starting with climbing out of a helicopter on the first day six weeks ago. Since then, she's taken part in numerous Tucker trials, eating the unimaginable. I think the biggest lesson I've learned in here is to challenge myself more to try and take more chances and risks and to push myself out of my comfort zone," she said. Earlier in the Channel 10 series, Donovan spoke of the debilitating anxiety that saw her hospitalized three times in 2016. It was pretty horrible, it almost stopped me. I thought I was having a heart attack, she said. Anxiety kind of hit me in 2015 and then last year it was horrible. 
I think I just buried so many things in my life that I think in the last few years I couldn't keep pushing it down, it actually had to come out. It is good to talk about it and just know that you are going to be okay, which is the hardest thing to say to yourself when you are going through something like that. I've had a good time in here, I've learned a lot about myself and hopefully that has come across, Basingth said. I feel like I've been myself. Maybe I've been a little bit of an idiot too which I am a bit nervous about watching. Before entering the jungle, the mother of three told News Corp Australia her biggest challenge would be being away from her husband Cameron McGlinchey and their kids, Harper and Hendrix. I didn't know if I could do it, the main reason being away from my kids, she said. But then when I weighed it up, I thought it would be an amazing opportunity to find that clarity that I've been talking about and have that space and just who gets to be able to do this so in the end I felt like someone was telling me I should do it, almost like I felt guided. Former AFL player Brendan Fivola won in March last year after the inaugural winner, English cricketer Andrew Freddie Flintoff. Please subscribe my channel. Channel.